Hello and welcome to another Tecla Structures video. In today's lesson, we will be discussing the Tecla Structures component for anchor rods. In our last video, we created a precast column base plate. In today's video, we will be anchoring the base plate to the foundation. Let's jump right in. Continuation of our model, let's zoom into that same grid on grid F and 1. You'll see we have our base plate already in there. Let's open up the applications and components and type in anchor. You'll see the anchor straight rod component. Now if you double click on that, it'll bring up the dialog box here and there's quite a few different parameters that you can enter in as far as that can control all the different elements of this. But for now, we're just going to change the height to two feet and the extent up to three inches. And basically you're just going to click the position as your single hole there and then you're going to make sure that you have your ortho on, which is the O, and you're going to hold your your cursor down in the negative Z direction to go straight down into the foundation. Type in 24, you'll see that your cast and anchor rod is now modeled. If we move it up, we need to move it up about one inch just to get the bolt kind of above the, the base plate there. So now we, we have our anchor rod in the correct location. Control P to go back to a plan view. And now we're going to zoom in close again, and we're just going to copy it over. Click on the center, and then copy it straight up, and then click, keep clicking on the center of all of these holes for the other three locations. Now they're all in there. If we rotate around, you can see all of those cast-in anchor rods are now there. So right now these are four separate elements. If we, if we choose select assemblies and we select these, you'll see that these are in no way attached to one another. These are four completely separate items. So by holding control and clicking on all of them together and going to assembly, we can cl click make assembly. So now these are actually one, one whole assembly. These are all attached at the hip. So with them selected, now we can copy. And right now we're just going to select the top midpoint of the column and then just uh, kind of copy these throughout the model. There's lots of different ways that you can do this though, and as you can see if we rotate around, you can see that those anchor rods are in there. Now we're gonna show a different way, uh, probably a little bit easier way. You can copy special to another object. So now Tecla's gonna ask you to pick the source object. We're gonna select the column, and then now we're gonna select the destination. So now you can just single click on the column as you kind of proceed through the model, and those anchor rods will automatically drop in. This same functionality can also be done if you were to rotate this model slightly and do a, a multi-selection across multiple columns. You can also you know, insert all of these within you know, one window selection to kind of speed up your modeling practice. Right-click Interrupt and make sure to save the model. That's going to conclude our presentation today on the anchor rods. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh.